What can I do for you? Just here to have a little fun. Just to have a little fun? Well, fun can mean a lot of things here. Yes, beautiful. These everyday women have found a lucrative way to capitalize on every man's desire. Everybody wants sex. It never goes out of style. <laughs> it's the perfect marriage of business. My sessions cost anywhere from $150 to $200 an hour. Mixed with pleasure. You're going to get a discount, because <laughs> I like to do that. <laughs> Negotiation combined with stimulation. When you think about me, what do you do? I masturbate all the time. They're modern women, making money the old-fashioned way. The money was flooding in. It was crazy. We didn't know what to do. Now they're about to take you behind closed doors to see what comes up when the lights go down. We're selling sex, darling. I've been riding all my life. If you want to dominate the horse, you want them to learn not to think of you as a predator. I suppose that's the same thing <laughs> in the studio. Yeah. Beautiful. My mother's Suze Randall, and she is a erotic photographer. Yeah. Many would say the most famous in the world, actually. My daughter's Holly Randall, and she's after my job. <laughs> We launched Suze.net in June of 98. Oh, we decided to start a website because we wanted to make more money. Suze.net is the largest private archive of erotic photos in the world. We're selling sex, darling. <laughs> and what do you think about putting them in a Catholic mm. outfit? Catholics, yeah. they don't have co-ed anyway. Yeah. In porn, they do. Yeah. Everything is primarily internet driven. The magazines are really not a major player anymore. The internet really pushed the envelope in terms of hardcore. Even in the magazines, there was never any penetration. Are you hot for anal, darling? We started looking at a situation where we really had to start shooting more hardcore to compete. Maybe have your butt to me. We had to in order to survive. And that's something we still kind of struggle with even now because my mom still likes to do the sweeter, kind of more soft romantic thing. And I want the hardcore, like, against the axe kind of stuff, you know? So we kind of, we fight against that. My name's Suze Randall. My name is Holly Randall, and sex is my business. In fact, it's a family business. It's a very good service to the community, I think, don't you? Well, my mother started off as a model. In England, I was actually a nurse. We were rather broke. She got a layout in Vogue, where she made a lot of money, and so she went out and bought some photo equipment. All these male idiots taking pictures of me. Surely a girl could do better. So I started shooting my girlfriend. She shot and sent her photos into Playboy. I was so lucky. But you know, had I not been a woman, I wouldn't have, they wouldn't have been interested because I was a chick and it was kind of interesting, you know. And my mom became staff photographer at Playboy, and things just progressed from there. Beautiful. Whoa, yeah. Yeah, you smile and smirk with those big <laughs> great. Well, there are huge challenges being a woman in this industry, too, because the guys really don't like it. I and mean, when I worked for Playboy, the sister would actually sit on the floor and say, oh, load your own bloody film. <laughs> they'd talk to you like they'd never talk to a guy. <laughs> You've got to be tougher and outwork them. So you come here often? I do believe that Holly, she will take after. She's great girls, beautiful. Scoot the up a little bit. I took my first photography class when I was 12. Even at that young age, I liked shooting women. And I don't know if that's just because of the environment I was raised in, or if it's something genetic I got from my mom. Who knows? 
I enrolled in Brooks Institute and it's oriented towards portrait photography, wedding photography, you know, architectural photography, all the shit I hated. And it was at that exact moment that my parents had started our website. So she just slowly started working for us. I mean, it's, it's great for me. It gives me more time with my horses. Now, we can either do two separate scenes with Jenny Lee and Tony and Roxy and Johnny. I could see how, from an outside perspective, it would seem strange to make porn with your mother, but you haven't met my mother, <laughs> you know? And I think when people see us together and they see the way that we interact and, and they see the relationship that we have, they see that it's a very healthy relationship and it's very normal and we're very close. I hope you take the stockings of off. You always I... leave the stockings on. Dad, it's a foot fetish shoot. Of course I took the stockings off. Okay. Working with my parents. <laughs> Sometimes I step back and I realize how weird that must sound. But for me, it's just totally normal. It makes perfect sense for me to be watching porn with my dad. A lot of choking. You know, I always grew up thinking that I was more like my father than my mother. But as I get older, I, I find that I have a lot of qualities that I share with my mother. Do you want to put some of this shiny stuff on her boobs? I mean, you know, as a mother, one would like to see them getting Pulitzer Prize for writing. I mean, one doesn't really want her to be doing the same as mama. But, you know, she'll do what she wants. <laughs> you don't really have much say in it. I didn't realize how famous my mother was until I actually started working in the adult industry. Everybody knew who my mother was. All the girls wanted to shoot with her. People would start saying to me, like, you know, are, are you going to be able to fill your mother's shoes? I said, big shoes to fill. And I was like, really? <laughs> my mom used to tell me I was boring all the time when I was a kid. Whenever I'd want to, and you said, boring. Oh, y'all are kind of Fetch. <laughs> See if you get a check. It's difficult to follow my mother's footsteps because, I mean, she sues. She's a very powerfully aggressive woman. And then bring that uh, pointer under her chin, like you're kind of like, I'm going to kick your ass. There are definitely times where I think, my god, am I going to be able to do this? But I like to think that I can charm my way into getting what I want as opposed to fighting my way to get what I want, which is what she does. Or if you come like this, and then Puma, you can do something, and then you I'll can do something. Whoop, <laughs> put you somewhere. Yeah, but can she make me throw my back, and I'd be like, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then make me like. If I want it all, I want that. I want this. <laughs> it hasn't been as hard as I guess I thought it would be, but you know she's still working, and I guess the real test will come when she actually retires, and I supposedly take all the yeah. reins into my hands. That looks good. The hardest part is getting on. <laughs> the easiest part is falling off. The industry has changed a lot. It's very acceptable now. It's really annoying. Everybody's trying to look like a Borno star. Yeah, I, I keep that on for a little bit because it makes you look teacherly. Our financial goal is just to not go bankrupt. <laughs> It used to be much easier to make a buck doing this, but as it's becoming more mainstream, more and more people are getting into the industry and the competition has grown very fierce. I can only hope that if I do take over one day that I can do half a good a job as my mother did. Great. My hopes for Holly are that she's happy and productive, that's married, has wonderful children, that I end up having to look after, just like I look after her dogs. <laughs> I very much want to get married and have two or three kids and have a golden retriever with a little white picket fence and go to PTA meetings and take my son to soccer. We're very close as a family and we're very much about passing things down generation to generation. So who knows, maybe my kids will one day get this house and take over my career. <laughs>